but I want to take you for a quick ride and show you what I did with the uh, the limbs. So if you're a landowner, uh, this is like a forestry best practice as far as erosion. To put logs in a gully, I'll show you when we get there. So this is what I did with my logs. Um, my property basically, it starts, uh, my back line of my property starts in the back of that third tree there and goes up the hill. So what I want to do is uh, extend this trail and uh, come up through this way along my back property line. Um, but what I had here, this is a dry creek. So it comes down through this valley, it's just a dry creek gets the water runoff. Then here for some reason it just kind of dropped straight down about 10 feet. So it just made this big wash, uh, erosion wash. So um, one thing that loggers do or just forestry, uh, forester, foresters will recommend is to um, fill these kind of gullies up. And uh, so what I did is, this is not very neat because a lot of these things were bent and twisted, but um, is to just clean off the logs, all the branches off the logs, and kind of try to stack them in there as tight as you can. Because as things erode down here, whether it's leaves or uh, dirt, future erosion, it all get stuck up in here. As you can see, leaves and things are starting to fall on it already since this is October. And over time, um, once it has all the bigger, like leaves and twigs and sticks, and it gets progressively bigger, then the dirt erosion, the natural erosion that's going to happen, will start getting clogged up in that, and it'll start building itself back up. So that's what I'm intending to do. So I put some logs there, and I had a couple here, and um, it would have been nice to be able to cover this, but uh, this will be this will work for now for getting my trail to continue right between these trees. And I'll fill this up, uh, whether it does it naturally or um, I have some work to do in another field up here. And I'll continue to bring down just debris and, and things like that and pile it in here and let it settle in. And uh, But eventually it'll be a solid enough surface uh, to run a trail over it. So what I'm talking about, so what this is, is uh, kind of like what they call a check dam. Um, so there's two things really uh, that have to do with erosion, that cause erosion, and that's volume of water and the speed of water. So if you can fix either one of those two things, the speed or the volume of water, uh, you can keep your, your erosion under control. And you can see here, these are natural. This is what water will do. This is what things will do naturally. So water comes down here, pushes up the sticks. They get caught up on the trees or, or whatever. And then leaves start piling in here. And then uh, dirt will start backing up on it. Here's another one. As you can see, this is probably uh, you know two and a half, three feet deep. And on that side, it's not, it's, it's just a foot. But everything will pile up on there and just kind of like start building itself back up. And over time, if this was solid enough, uh, it would build back up. And I do have some other places on my farm here that I have done this uh, like a few years ago. And it works great. And I will take you down. I probably need to organize these logs a little bit better so they fit in here. Right now I just dumped these with my uh, with my uh, grapple so they just kind of fell where they fell. But uh, 
to take care of that. So let me go down and uh, I'll show you another part that's actually worked really well. Sometimes it's fun just taking a ride on the ranger through the woods. Let's see if I can find you a good example of how this, these check dams work. So, as I cleared out these woods uh, with my forestry mulcher, and uh, so what I do is normally cut the trees down, I'll cut off all the small stuff on top, and uh, leave the logs, and then cut the tree off with a chainsaw, and then I'll forestry mulch the stumps uh, flush. Then I'll bring the logs over and I put them in a ravine. So this is this is a this is probably a seven or eight feet deep. Also, as you can see. So um, this is this is kind of downstream. This is another dry same uh, dry creek. Uh, but you can see on this side, it's five or six, seven, eight feet deep down here. The trees that I had here happen to be cedar. And they all packed in here nice and tightly. So on this side, this whole thing was about the same depth. So I dropped all these logs in here. That's about seven or eight feet deep. When you go up to here, it's dirt. So all the debris has come in here. It's buried the logs. And you can see some of the logs buried down here. And they were down there six or seven feet. So the erosion and things like that will come and fill all this stuff up and as you can see it's uh, from the rest of the bank now it's, it might be two feet deep which is totally fine it still gives the water a channel to run down um, but it won't get any lower than where the logs are now because the logs will always kind of hold the dirt and debris in here so this is just an example of uh, forestry kind of a best management practice and um, to control your erosion so all this dirt that's getting caught up here is not going further downstream into um, you know the, the bigger streams or rivers and um, it also does me a help to uh, build these gullies back up and all this stuff is a time lapse process so um, hopefully over the years, it will, you know, kind of fill in nicely all over. This was the same way. You can see it's deep over here, and it's dirt up here. Same with this pile of, uh, of weeds growing. Uh, there's, you can see logs underneath it. This again was all logs, or as you can see, logs buried here. And over time, they catch all the erosion and it starts filling up. 
So this is a good way to uh, take care of some of your gullies. Number one, to keep them from getting worse. And number two, uh, uh, to you know, build some check dams to uh, control erosion. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed it. If you're a landowner and this is new information to you, or if you have any questions, um, this is just, I'm just a landowner myself. Ask me some questions and uh, it's always good to share. And if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, please like and subscribe to my channel. And uh, I'll try to get some more informational videos out there for you. Thanks.